Roswell Flight Test Crew here at NAB 2016. Click subscribe now to keep up with our coverage from the show. And I'm here with Adam Lisberg at DJ. How you doing, Adam? I'm doing great. It's really great to see so many people showing out to see our technology and all the exciting new products we have here today. Yeah, and it's quite a turnout just in the, literally in like the first 15 minutes of the show. So you've got something incredibly new and cool here at DJI, and it's sitting right here on the table behind us. What is it? This is the Matrice 600, which is a next generation aerial platform designed for the professional user, especially in the broadcast TV, movie industry, anybody who needs a very high quality, very high precision aerial platform for videos and films that are going to be seen by an awful lot of people. What you see here is the Matrice M600, as you can see it's a hexacopter, which is available with uh, the standard guidance system or can be upgraded to much higher precision <laughs> products that take a satellite info not just from GPS but from GLONASS, the Russian equivalent of GPS. You can even upgrade to a system that has a higher level of integration with inertial measurement units. You can get down to centimeter level accuracy when, and which is replicable when you're flying the Matrice 600. So that's what's great on the aerial platform side. What it's connected to here is our new Ronin MX gimbal system. A lot of your viewers may be familiar with the Ronin system which is a great handheld gimbal system. The, the technology that gives you stable flight and stable image when you have a DJI drone in the air, there's no reason you can't have that in the same handheld capability, which is why the Ronin series has become wildly popular. And now we're taking that back into the air. The, the Ronin series is so popular, people want that kind of stability and control for an aerial platform as well. When you mount the two of them together, the flight controller on the 600 is talking to the Ronin MX gimbal. The flight controller says, we're going to turn left, we're going to turn right, I'm going to bank, I'm going to pull back, speed up, get ready. And the motors on the gimbal can be prepared to an account for that gives you an utterly stable horizon, an utterly smooth flight. When you have this whole package, and it's been engineered to be able to handle, as you can see, a major league professional camera. The M600's payload is six kilograms, so even when you have the Ronin MX on it, you can have a major motion fiction camera on it. So it's an incredible platform for the professional crowd. You get unbelievable imagery from this, unbelievable control. Wow. Now, as an old school multi rotor guy, I have to, I mean, all that is amazing, and I'm sure people are going to use it to make beautiful movies. And the thing that jumped out at me is you've got six batteries on there for one aircraft, and those all powered simultaneously. What's going on there? Yeah, you have them all powered up there that, you know, battery life obviously is an issue for any kind of aerial platform because it takes a lot of juice to keep this kind of weight in the air, to keep a camera and system running. So when you're able to have six batteries and they're able to be linked up, in ways that support each other. If one of your batteries fails, comes up with some kind of problem, you're linked in with the other five, you're still going to have safe control, you're still going to have uh, full power to be able to get yourself down safely. Even though this is amazingly affordable for a major motion picture budget, it's still nice to know that you have that kind of security. Now with those six batteries, what kind of flight time are you getting? It's going to depend to the limits of its capabilities, doing a lot of complicated movements on a windy day, covering a lot of ground. You could have sub 20 minute flight times. The less you're asking the system to do, the more you'll be able to be up there. Everyone always wants longer flight times, of course, we always hear that. We're always evolving to give people what they want. But, you know, the most important thing when you're making a major motion picture is, can I get the shot that I need? And it's a heck of a lot cheaper to buy another set of batteries to plug in than to rent a helicopter for the day. Absolutely. Now, this is a hexacopter, and hexacopters are renowned for their ability to keep flying, their redundancy, because they've got more than the minimum number of propellers. But I understand you've taken that even further with this model, that you've got a, a real strong capability to recover from some sort of failure. Yeah. The one feature on the M600 that I really don't recommend you try, but I'm glad that it's there. Through some incident, you end up losing a propeller or a propeller blade. You can auto-rotate down on the ones that remain. Not, it, it's not going to be a terribly well-controlled landing, but it's going to be the kind of landing that can get you down without destroying the expensive camera that you may have mounted on the bottom there. So what's this beauty going to cost and when's it going to be available? The, it's going to be available very soon. I don't have an exact date for you, but you, you'll see it when it comes up on, on the web store. This Matrice M600 package, $45.99. $4,599. The, the Ronin MX gimbal is $15.99. And if you get them together in a package, it's $59.99.
So for less than $6,000, you have something that you can mount a major motion picture camera on and get out there and make major motion picture quality images. I am honestly gobsmacked. I would have figured at least twice that, to be honest. Try renting a helicopter for the day for that kind of money. It's almost yeah, now, I, well, just, one final thing I want to point out is that not only is this great new aircraft, but you've also introduced today a new flight control system, the A3, which includes that, that centimeter precision and I'm sure just gives you a whole lot of additional capabilities. Yeah, there are three different levels depending on what kind of precision you need. If you are going to be flying in an open area and you're ha comfortable flying by your controls, you may not need that higher level of precision. So if a director wants to have a very complicated camera movement that can be repeated time after time again, you get the shot that you want with the, the highest level of motion control that we have available, and you just can push the button and rerun that until the actors get it right. As we're sitting here and I'm looking at this, it looks like a really nice aircraft. It's folding, which I always think is critical because the greatest aircraft in the world is useless if you can't get it out to the set. So I take it you're proud not only of the capabilities but of the physical build. Yeah, it, this is a very well put together model and it has to be because we know that we're working for not just weekend hobbyists, but we know that the market for this is people who have uh, who will have hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of labor and equipment sitting on the set waiting for the shot to happen. They cannot wait to have this tinkered with. In our preview video for NAB, I said, well, DJI's just released the Phantom 4. They probably won't have anything new at the show. But the pace of innovation is so uh, high in this industry that DJI, you know, we have an enormous market share. We have about 70% market share in the consumer market. But, you know, our company was founded by students in a dorm room 10 years ago. And we know that right now out there, there are other people in a dorm room trying to come up with a, a better idea than we have. And we need to out-innovate them every day. We don't rest on our laurels. We're always cooking up other exciting things in the lab. So we plan to keep knocking your socks off every chance we get. Well, I, as a, as a big multi rotor fan, will be looking forward to it. And the second thing I was going to say is, also from the preview video, I said you guys always have an awesome booth at these shows, and you really don't disappoint this year. In particular, you've got a giant phantom hovering over the flight cage. Yeah, it, it makes it easy to spot the booth here. If you're, if you're around, come by and I just tell people, look for the giant drone. We'll be hard to miss. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. This looks like an amazing machine. I'll look forward to seeing it in the air. Yes, great. Hope you and everybody enjoys it. And from NAB 2016, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks, Adam. Glad to do it.